All right, it's time to start packing my things up. But before I do that, I promised you all that I will give you my first impressions of this nifty little shelter. So this is Lux Outdoor Mini Peak XL. And why I went with this uh, Mini Peak lineup instead of the more traditional like round TP shaped, I, I believe that's called um, Hex Peak or Hex Peak XL. Uh, is because this type of pyramid shape, first of all, I think it makes a lot more sense in terms of how you sleep, uh, especially with two people and how you organize your gear. Uh, round shelters never made much sense to me, to be honest. And second thing, which is even more important, is that this can be set up with just four stakes and then the center pole. So one in each corner, center pole up, and it's pretty much done. Anything else you add, like guidelines and other uh, other like stakes and so forth, are just a bonus. So quick setup. Um, I did look for a long time at the Seek Outside Cimarron Light. They've done many things, in my opinion, better than what Lux Outdoor has with this shelter. But in the end, it was going to be so much more expensive than this. This was only two hundred and 39 euros, I think. Um, so for that price, it is pretty amazing. Amazing little shelter. Did I get condensation? Yes, of course. Single wall tent. That is to be expected. This did come with like a winter inner tent that takes up half of the space, but I don't really have a need for that. And once the dog gets more experience with me going outdoors, spending night outdoors, then I will probably not close this up, so the condensation won't be that big of a deal at that point. However, I did notice one thing regarding ventilation and condensation in general, and that is these vents. Look how tiny they are. In fact, when looking from inside of the shelter, it almost looks like there's no, no gap at all here. And I figured that it is because this strap, this thingy, that is supposed to keep this up, starts from up here. Hopefully you guys can see that, but up here almost seems like a design or manufacturer error. If this would begin here, it would actually pull this way further, like so, increasing the ventilation a lot. So I don't know if this is made to be like this but it with this design it's it's not good and that's probably something that i will have to fix myself i will remove this original piece add proper velcro to it and then attach it to the bottom of this velcro and then here to really increase the ventilation capabilities of this little shelter in terms of waterproofness of course, I have no idea at this point. My biggest concerns are this flap, because this is a hot tent. And when rain comes here, it then sits directly against this Velcro strip. And for some reason, which frankly I just cannot wrap my head around, not all seams in this tent had been seam sealed. This tent did come with like the small tube of seam sealant and any one of you who has done seam sealing knows that the tape is so much better or at least easier to apply than uh, some crappy seam sealant with very hard brush. So I did my best to seam seal all the zippers as well as this flap but uh, it will take one very rainy trip to see if I did any good job or not. But anyway, interesting shelter. <laughs> could easily fit all of our gear, both of us. And um, definitely the inner tent designs are a bit, a bit stupid in a way that they are only meant for one person. Whereas there's clearly space for two people. And indeed, this can be hung up with a string. So if I would have just a string or a 
piece of cordage between these two trees and wouldn't have the center pole, this would easily fit three guys side by side. Maybe not all of the gear, but still. So there's plenty of space inside, yet the inner tents are all made so that only one guy can get into the inner tent. So it's a bit of a mismatch in that sense. Well, those were my first impressions of Lux Outdoor Mini Peak XL.